Hello everyone. Welcome back to Controllers Tech. Today, in this video, I will show you, how to interface 8 ISTO 1 multiplexer with STM32. I am using 74HC4051 multiplexer, which can also be used as a demultiplexer. This video will cover the multiplexing part. I will cover demultiplexing in near future. I am connecting three potentiometers to three pins of the MUX, and will read them using the single pin as input. Let's start by creating a project in Cube IDE first. I am using STM32 F446RE, but this should work across all STM devices. Give the name to the project, and click Next. Just for confirmation, the firmware version is 1.24.1. .1. First things first, I am selecting the external crystal for the clock. Four zero five one MUX have three select pins, and one enable pin. All these must be selected as output. I am naming them to avoid confusion later. Let's take a look at the device itself. These are the select pins, from S0 to S2. Enable pin is an active low pin. These select pins are used to control the I.O. pins, from Y0 to Y7. And we have a Z pin, which will connect to one of those I.O. pins. Let's see the datasheet of the device. This is the block diagram of the device. As you can see, during the operation, the enable pin have to be low. And which of the I.O. pins, will connect to Z, can be controlled by using select pins. As I mentioned, I am going to read three potentiometers, I am selecting ADC to do that. The Z pin will be connected to PA1, and I am leaving all the settings as it is. Except here, I am increasing the sampling time. Setting up the clock for maximum frequency. Click save to generate the code. If we take a look at the main.h file, we can see the names of the pins, that we defined in the cube MX. Let's begin the coding process. Just defining a name to the port of select pins. This array will hold all the select pins. The select MUX pin, is used to select the respective I.O. pin of the multiplexer.
As mentioned in the datasheet, we have to pull the enable pin low, for the MUX to work. And to begin, I am setting all the select pins to high. Now, inside the while loop, select the respective I.O. MUX pin. Start the ADC. Pull for conversion to complete. Before going further, we need a variable to store these values. So, I am defining a variable called value which can hold these 8 values. Read the ADC value, and finally stop the ADC. This whole operation will continue for all the select pins. Let's build this code, and run it. I have only connected the sensors to first three pins of the MUX. These all value seems to change randomly. I will just use the first three pins of the MUX to display the result. Note that the values are now changing for only the first three variables. Note the changes happening in the value variable, as I change the resistance in the potentiometer. This way we can read 8 different sensors, using only one input pin, and 3 select pins. This is how the multiplexer works. In the next video, I will show you how to use the 4051 as demultiplexer. I hope you understood the video. You can download the code from the link in the description. Keep watching. Have a nice day.